Hi, this is Eric with Home Network Central, and I'm going to show you how to deal with a double NAT issue, uh, which, you, which you might have on your gaming system, like Xbox or something. So if you have two routers in your house, it's very important how you connect them, like wit, wit, where you plug in the cables. That is basically what's going to give you a NAT issue or not. So I'm just going to say, let's say you have one router in your uh, living room or home office or whatever. This is the router you plug into your modem. This is your main router Where you get your internet from so I'm gonna pretend This yellow cable is my going to my modem. This is where I where you, I get my internet from So this internet is in my main router The modem I plug into this WAN port That's the internet port See on this router, it's labeled WAN. It's a yellow port and it's different. It's a different color than the rest. And it's also labeled differently. So that's how you know that's where your modem or where your internet connection gets plugged into. So now I have my main router here and it's using this yellow cable to get on the internet. So now the question is, how do I plug this other router into my main router so that I can share the internet connection and plug my Xbox into it or whatever gaming system and not get a double NAT issue. So the answer is you want to connect them both on, on LAN ports on both ends. So when I connect this router to this router, I'm going to go to the back and I want to plug this into any one of the LAN ports. So one through four, it doesn't matter which one, as long as it's not the internet port. That's all that matters, not the internet port. So I'm gonna go in port one, just because that's the one I choose. Now the other end, I'm gonna go to my secondary router, and I'm also gonna plug the other end into a LAN port. Now on this secondary router, you can go ahead and put a piece of tape over this internet port. You see how four of them are blue and one of them is yellow? The, inter the internet port is always different somehow. You see how these like four are like grouped together and there's like this little space there, then there's that third, there's that other port and it's also yellow and it's called internet. That one's kind of different than the rest, if you see what I'm saying. So you don't want to go in the one that's different. So I want to plug into one of these four ports. It doesn't matter which one, as long as it's not the internet port. Common sense, I don't know about you, but common sense tells me, okay, the internet's coming from over there, so if I want to plug this router in, I would want to plug in the internet. No, that's, act, that's just, that's what common sense tells me. So if you're thinking the same thing as me, that's what makes sense. But that's actually not how it works. This port is on a completely different IP network than these other four ports. So put a piece of tape over your internet port and your connection to your main router goes in any one of these ports. So now, when you have your two routers connected to each other, everything on Wi-Fi on this router and everything that's physically connected to this router are all on the same network. And now that you have this cable going to the switch on this network, on this router. Everything on Wi-Fi here, and also everything connected to the LAN ports are also on the same network as this router. The only thing that's on a different network is your modem, because you're plugged into the WAN port over here. So that's a separate IP network. So you can connect to Wi-Fi on this router and access the internet, you can plug in to a LAN port on, and access the internet with a computer or whatever. And then if you go over here, you can connect to the Wi-Fi on this router and you can access the internet. You can also plug a computer or something into one of these LAN ports and access the internet, but don't ever use this internet port. Don't use this port because that's when you get NAT issues. So now I would recommend, I know a lot of people like Wi-Fi, but I would recommend plugging your PlayStation Xbox into a LAN port over here on this secondary router, if that's where your gaming system is located. And let's pretend this white cable goes to my gaming system. I would recommend a wired connection. So if you plug 
your gaming system into a LAN port on the secondary router. And then your secondary router is connected LAN port to LAN port. And then this one has a WAN internet connection. Then everything will be able to get on the internet and you're not gonna have any double NAT issues. Now, kind of a bonus tip, if you are connecting these routers like this, then on your secondary router, you want to disable DHCP. So uh, maybe I'll make a video on that, but I don't currently have a video on how to disable DHCP, but uh, it's, it's gonna be in your router settings. If you log in there, there should be a checkbox where you can just uncheck it. So on your, you only want DHCP to be enabled on one of these routers, because if you don't do that, you can plug all this stuff in and you can access Wi-Fi and you might be like, so when people say, oh yeah, I didn't disable DHCP and it worked fine for me. Well, it's true. You might be able to access the network temporarily, but eventually if you plug something into this router and it gives it an IP address and then you plug something else into this router, it's possible they could both assign that same IP address and then you're gonna get an IP address conflict. So that's kind of like a bonus tip. You wanna disable DHCP on one of these routers. So that should get rid of any issues with IP conflicts and it should get rid of any issues with double NAT. Hope you enjoyed the video. If it helped you, please give me a like. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching.